Trip Kramer here from tripadvice.com. One thing I noticed from the very moment I became a coach back in 2011, specifically a dating coach for guys, is that one of the reasons why men have not been able to be successful with women, myself included, by the way, for many, many years, was all because they were weak, they were acting feminine, and they were simping. I feel like we're now on the verge where there's some new information coming out, including a video like this, that's trying to teach men how to not simp, how to be someone who's comfortable in their own skin, who's not being uh, emotionally weak and being able to really handle the tough things that life brings to them and really learning how to be an attractive man. So I think that there's more information now coming out about this and hopefully there's going to be a, a switch here. But I think for the past two or three decades, there has been this interesting, how do I say, uh, way of being from guys that has really weakened men as a whole. So let me dive deeper here. But myself as a millennial raised by boomers, I believe that they were the hippie generation and they started to raise their kids, my, myself included, right? As someone to always be super kind, super polite, uh, never do anything to make someone feel bad. And again, these are all good virtues. There's nothing wrong with some of these things, but I don't know if it was really taught properly. You know, one of the things I remember was I ended up, ended up getting uh, a trophy every single year just for, for participating, just for showing up. What did that really teach me? Oh, let's just say, did I even value those trophies? No. So it was really just all about being kind and making sure everyone was treated with, with respect and, and everything was uh, not to ever offend and I believe that this has weakened men as a whole. I don't think that I was taught or a lot of men taught or even today I think a lot of men are, are being taught how to be emotionally strong, how to work through adversity, how to, or to understand that not everything is going to be handed to you. To understand that being nice, while that's, you know, you don't want to treat people mean and do the opposite, but just trying to placate and make sure to never offend is really actually digging yourself in a deeper hole because you're not being true to who you are. And if everyone is being nice and never talking about their real emotions or real thoughts or real opinions, then you're just never really gonna get respect from people. I'll say this, no woman has ever been attracted to a guy because he's nice. It's never happened. Yeah, she might say, oh yeah, like, He's this, he's that, he's that, he's nice. Maybe that is like one aspect in there. But have you ever heard a woman say, yeah, he's really nice, but I don't know, I just don't feel any attraction towards him. That's because nice or the act of trying to make sure no one is going to get offended or hurt, that act right there is not respected and it doesn't really show your masculine strength. Now I know a lot of people are gonna watch this, maybe even females saying this is toxic masculinity, but I wanna be very clear here. I'm not talking about having to be mean, just because this is where it gets confusing for some people. When I say things like nice doesn't work, nice is weak, all this stuff, all of a sudden people jump to the opposite is the answer, but that's not what I'm saying because the opposite's not the answer either. If you're really mean, really harsh towards people, uh, just, just a jerk in general, you know what that looks like, that's not going to get you anywhere either. I guess the idea here is right now there's so many men who are just trying to do kind of simpy, nice things to get a woman's attention and it's just not working. And so I'm in the business of helping guys understand what works and what doesn't. And the good news is there is a balance between being someone who can be a good person 
where you're not overtly an asshole or a jerk to somebody, but also at the same time, be formulating your own opinions, be okay with saying what's what, not being afraid of offending somebody, because that's going to be the person who's, who will always be the most respected person in the room, no matter what. So we're being taught all the time, be nice, play nice, make sure you're nice. And again, good things to teach your kid because you don't want them to be a jerk and steal some other kid's toy in the sandbox, right? But we need to make sure that we're teaching our children and something I'm teaching you and something I had to teach myself to be someone who is going to be so comfortable with who they are that they're not afraid to go about the world and be who they are and not be so apologetic. So really teaching you how to be an unapologetic person. So when you're with a woman, for example, making sure that you're always stating your opinions, not just agreeing with everything she says. When you're with a group of people, you don't have to agree with all the things that they say and they do. You can give your friends tough love instead of being there and and just trying to support. Let, let, me, let me say this. When you're with a friend, are you going to be a better friend if you're just sitting there kind of listening to them complain about something and just trying to empathize and, and sympathize? Or what about the friend who says, hey man, yeah, I'm really sorry that's happening, but hey, let's not play victim. Let's get ourselves up off the chair. Let's dust ourselves off and let's keep trying. Like really pushing someone to be the best version of themselves. Sometimes the nice person might not do that because they're afraid they're going to agitate something or get in a fight or something bad is going to happen. More common examples I've talked about on the channel, other examples of the rise of lonely simp men are guys who think that they have to give a woman something instead of being the prize themselves. So having to give them money, buy them gifts, give them a lot of compliments, you know, things like that, that we were taught as kids. We were taught, yeah, you'd see movies, you, you know, you'd read books. Okay, the, the boy bought her flowers, brought flowers to the first date, complimented her a lot, lots of chivalry, all that stuff. But really, at the end of the day, that stuff doesn't work. It just makes you look weak. And a woman doesn't want a weak man. Now, here's the thing. I know that some people like to say, well, I brought my, you know, I'll be on TikTok and someone will say, oh, I brought my wife flowers for the first time. And now we've been married 37 years. Or I compliment my wife all the time and da, 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 da. The reason why that's that stuff is, I guess, working or that's, it's going fine to be able to do those things only because she probably found a lot of other things about that person that was attractive. That person probably showed some other masculine traits where she was able to look over that. But a lot of guys these days think it's the nice thing. It's the nice way. And then a woman will go, he's nice. I'm attracted. And that doesn't work. That doesn't happen. You may have been experiencing this yourself. In fact, if you have experienced this, write down in the comments below somewhere where you've experienced being just nice and where it hasn't worked out. Let's learn from this together. These are some ideas I wanted to bring up on this video, but I'm curious what you think. Leave a comment down below. I want to hear from you. I want to get in the conversation about some of these things, about being honest about what really works with attraction and why simping and being someone who's just trying to be nice doesn't really work. Let's talk about it. If you need help, go to coachedbytrip.com if you feel like you're simping if you feel like you just don't understand how attraction works, how to get a girl interested in you, understanding female nature, this is all confusing for you, go to coachedbytrip.com. We have coaches on staff ready to help you right now, immediately, and you will get a one-on-one -on -one coach to get to the point where you're attracting more women from online and through in-person. Check that out down below. I'll see you on the next video.